Hi guys, I'm here with Dash and laundry and yeah, mom and it. So um, I decided to share a full length Pilates video. This is from the last round of Plants Plus Pilates, which is my six week boot camp where I take you through a protocol that I live by every day, which is plant-based eating and doing Pilates. And the way that I teach it is that no workout is ever the same and it's super fun. So this was one video. Um, <laughs> Hello, Dash really wants to say hi. This is one of the workouts from last round and all you need is a flex band, so you can get a flex band anywhere. The one that I'm using is um, from Stop Pilates, which is the method that I got certified in and I hope you enjoy it and if you want in on the next round, he's totally kicking me, of Plants Plus Pilates, then you can check out the link below. We're starting October 5th and it's going to be, again, super fun. Talk to you soon. Enjoy the workout. Hi guys. Okay, so today is a short and sweet little flow. Let me see if my head can fit in this video and we're gonna be using a flex band. So find a flex band. This is my stop Pilates. I think it's like medium intensity. Light is usually a little bit better um, because you wanna be able to have a little bit more range than strength, right? That's how we build our strength anyhow. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. A little bit of all over workout and let's just get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start sideways so you can see me. Take one foot forward in a lunge position and your arms will start shoulder distance wide in front of the chest. Your back knee is behind and underneath your hip. And here we go. So take a full breath, inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to start to lean forward and pull outward through the outsides of both arms. <sighs> Breathe, inhale, connect the abs and shift back up to neutral. So it's just a little bit of a rocking movement. <sighs> forward and back to start to open up the front of your hip and just lean into that front leg as well. It's just a rocking back and forth, activating the arms. Three more. And two. And one more, lunge forward, stay in it now and bring the arms up above the head and chest. And you're just gonna start to pull for three, two, one. And then inhale, shift back reach over your front leg and just pull the toes towards you so you get a hamstring stretch right off the bat and then inhale come back up lean press three two one hinge back wrap the foot and pull feels so good inhale forward and pulse three Keep your abs tight, two, one, rocking back. And try to lift that chest up a little bit. I will take that one more time. Inhale forward, raise those arms, press, two, three. Find your hinge. And release, release. Okay, we'll rotate to the other side. Starting with just the lunge and pull. Inhale, come back. Leg forward, pull out. Inhale, come back. And two more. Last one. And then bring those arms up high, reach three, two, one. 
and come back over the toes into the hinge, sitting back on the opposite knee. Okay, forward again, lunge and lean, three, two, one, rock back. This is a good little series you can do after you do your walks or your runs as well, just the stretching component. Pull, pull, pull. And toes flex back. One more time. Reaching up, close the rib cage, widen through the shoulders. And rock the foot in the band. Okay, and then we'll come back to center. So I'm just gonna have you guys sit, sit on your mat, arms are the same. We're always watching that the wrist is straight, the wrist is long. Inhale tall and exhale, scoop the belly. Lead with your little fingers and you're gonna reach out to the side walls. So breathe, inhale, come up, exhale, rock back. Inhale, come up, exhaling back. And here's three, two, and one more. And then hold the position and start to pulse to the sides. So we're gonna be using this very, very simple movement a lot in this workout because it's really nice to kind of carve out that line at the side of your shoulder and activate your triceps all at once. Four, three, two, and one. Now stay here and bring up one leg at a time. So we're gonna just start with right leg raised, roll back a little bit further, lift up and pull. Small return, inhale, glide back, stretch, press. Small return, inhale, and reach out the toes. And then hold the position, bring your foot up, band down, breathe in to lift. Exhale to raise, raise the leg. So exhale, leg lifts. Inhale, hinge it forward. I'm just staying really light on my opposite heel. Your abs are getting plenty of work. If you wanna raise that other leg, you could, but it's not necessarily going to do anything besides make your abs burn a little bit more, but you want to stay in position. Three, two, and one more. Now, keep your leg on that diagonal line, still straight. Increase the rollback. Pulse, lift, pulse, lift. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then finish and roll all the rest of the way down and bring the knee in. Keep it bent, start to lift the band, pull here as you roll, inhale, lean back, lift up, so this is single leg teaser, and then roll down, small of the back connects to the floor, and the arms come over the head. I'm like out of the camera. Okay, here we go. Inhale forward, exhale, finish the roll. Inhale, lift up, lean back, and round the back down. It's always better to go really slow and controlled with these movements than trying to rush because you'll just miss out on the muscle work. Take as long as the time is that you need. And 
inhale high, make sure to breathe. Roll down, pull, pull, pull. The knee follows the roll back. One more. Reach up and then just add a little set of the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend your knee, slide out your leg. Flip it over the feet. It's really nice to just have over the toes so that you can hold at the hip and pull back into those hamstrings. And then try to kind of lift your chest up. If you can let your heels hover off the floor, that's cool. And then point and flex. Two and one. And then we'll come back to a starting position again. So opposite leg, half roll back, lift the knee and start to exhale a little further into your rolling position. Inhale halfway up, exhale deep and back. So when I say deep and back, it's really low belly, navel to spine, curve at the low rib. I'm shaking when I have my hands on my stomach. It's like, it doesn't take a lot of reps when you have everything lined up. And two more. Okay, so start to reach the leg long out and inhale, return. even though you might think you're focusing on the abs a lot, but think about the leg as well. Can you elongate through that inner thigh as your toes are reaching away? Two more. And one more. And then keep that leg long. Inhale, reach the arms high, roll down, bend the knee in to follow the hip and the pelvis. Starting overhead, inhale up, Round through, inhale, raise, and roll down. And I know we forgot to do our repetition, so we'll do it after our teasers. Breathe, inhale, lift, and pull, and exhale, rolling down. Here's three. To the top, toes down. And two. One more. Okay, then from here, breathe in. Exhale, leg lifts, arm lower, inhale apart. And four. This is just ab prep forward. So the band's gonna glide over the knees and you're gonna reach wide with your abdominal flexion. And then inhale, float back down. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, float back down. Exhale, forward, pull. Here's five. Let the feet stay light in the air. Four. Three. Two. And one more. Pulsing here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, we're using our abs and our arms. Let's do one more set of eight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
and then bring your hands behind your head. You can just hold the flex band into place and reach the right leg out. And in, two, and in, three, four, five, six, seven, and holding eight. Eight and pulse. So you're flexing the foot down, two, three, four, four, three, two, and with a pointed toe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathing it in, deep full breath. Exhale, next side, left leg reaches, and inhale, return. Four more, and three, and two, and one. <laughs> Pause and flex, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, point eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, bend, return. Okay, ready for this? This is our double leg set, so if you need to stay a little higher with your feet and your legs, that's cool, so you don't hurt your low back, okay? Never the plan. Exhale, look. Legs in a diagonal, and fold back in. Now, if you have a ball, I'm just gonna drop this for a minute, you can put it between your feet, or I'm keeping like five inches or so between my big toes. Big breaths. The louder you breathe, the more muscle contraction you get. That's the more tone you get. And three, two, and one. Again, stay here. Your pulse does not need to go to the floor. It's little baby pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, two, one, and flex. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bend and hug your knees. Whew. Into your chest and feet down. You can pull one knee in, pull into that hip, and grab behind your leg and come all the way up. Okay, now this band is going to come behind your back. We want it to be opened up really wide and not rolled up into a little squiggle. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna face you as you can see. You're seated with, sorry, I just can't seem to get straight here, with long legs and hold on really close underneath your armpit. So elbows are wide, parallel to the floor. Take a breath. I want you to just reach directly out. So we have really uh, connected lats. So your scapula are anchored lightly and you're pressing through the hands, lead with your thumb. As your arms reach long, your belly pulls in. Breathe in wide, exhale, cinch the waist. Breathe in wide, exhale, cinch the waist. Two, one more. Keep those arms long, point your toes, connect the inner thighs, roll back part way. And then we're gonna do it again. Inhale, bend, and deepen into the roll. Part way up, rolling back, rounding back. Three, two, one more. And then keep it here. Bring your arms out to the side so you just have energy through both arms and you're twisting so the whole shape turns. And inhale to center, right side again. Try 
not to move your legs or move your feet or notice if one foot is reaching further than the other as you turn. That means your pelvis is moving. You want to move from your waist and above. One more. Come back in. Now sit up tall. Sit up tall. Flex your feet. Keep your arms active and wide. Point and roll halfway. Breathe in to stay. Exhale, turn left. Three, two, and one. And come back up, arms are wide. So softly bend the knees. Now you're gonna bend your elbows in toward your hips slightly, and then just stay with your abs scooped and press out. In, out, in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, arms again. So bring up one leg and then two legs and you're gonna turn three, two, just see if you can keep your ankle bones together. One, center, ankle bones together, turn left, three, Two, woo, one, back to the right for three, three, to the left for three, one, two, three, we're going to do that one more time. If you need to, heels go down to the floor, three to the right, twist, lift your heart, and twist, come back in, left side final three, two, and one, and relax those arms and shoulders. Woo, baby. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is take your band, so it's long, in the middle of your mat, middle of where you're sitting, and you're gonna sit on top of it with your sit bones. Okay. So this is sort of like reformer work, which I love. Um, and you're just gonna make sure you're getting your wrist is straight. So you're pulling it from the opposite side under your hip. If you wanna hold on over the top, you can, but try to do palm facing in. Other fingers on the floor, so you're just gonna open your shoulder and then inhale, come back. So we're focusing on the back of the delt and opening the front of the chest. <sighs> Sit up tall. with a long lever, reach wide. So I'm leading with my knuckles. Coming across the knees, lead with the knuckles. Coming across the legs, slightly down, slightly up. But shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip is square to whichever direction you're facing. Three more. Two, and one, okay? Bring it back in, wow! Okay, now, holding on from over the top, it's gonna be tight, your wrist is straight, you're gonna lead with your elbow, so pull and release. Pull and release, like you're just gonna hit somebody in the side. Four, three, two, and one, now we're adding on, so you need a little more range or a little more band. Out and open, fold and slide. Out, open, bend, bring it back. So not so much you lose the full tension though. So bend and pull, open up, back and across. more. 
two and one and down. Okay, let it go. Starting with the opposite side. So I have it between my thumb and the rest of my fingers. Prop yourself up, open and bend. This one feels so easy compared to the last one now after all those reps. Then take it across so long arm reach to the back back of the shoulder back of the elbow back of the tricep I just always mentally think about squeezing underneath of my arm tone this section please arm it also helps if you kind of understand that almost with every movement it's like here's your stability point here's your anchor my arm is like energizing out this way, then open. Like you're reaching, I always like to tell my clients in my studio, like you're moving through water. So it's like you're moving the water out of the way, but it's a really strong and graceful movement um, and powerful. So uh, the other day we were swimming with Dalton and Heath brought our old, our old, we used to, take like swimming lessons together, Heath and I, to like practice uh, swimming and like for working out. So we had like the paddles for our hands and the flippers to go fast. And when you put those paddles on your hands, it, it allows you to really push the water. So sort of think about that when you're moving like this. One more. Okay, and then coming over the top, so this is just the elbow glide and release. Three, two, one, and open, bend, reach across the legs. Open, bend, bend, release, so four counts. didn't go along on that one last one and down all the way okay so let's take our leg series with the flex band here okay so you can wrap wrap the ball of your foot nice and wide and come to your sideline position why am I wearing a sweatshirt? I do not know, you guys. <laughs> Air conditioning problems, okay. So bottom knee I'm gonna have bent, lift up out of your hips, chest and waist, anchor your hand to the floor, and then bring your leg forward. So it's kick, kick. It's not really staccato, it's just like two counts. Forward, a little further forward, point in the band, then reach up around and back. So I'm opening the front of the hip. The goal is that this hand isn't moving okay so you have a stability anchor heel heel point so back of the leg back of the leg inner thigh front of thigh glute line squeeze I do these a lot because they are so good and so effective like if you only have a few minutes if you're traveling or your kids are watching TV and you have a few minutes or you can play with them while you, I do this while I play with them on the floor sometimes. You can like play matching games and do Pilates at the same time. Anything to get it in. So I just tell you that because when I taught Pilates and I had my clients in my studio, a lot of times I would get down on the floor with them and just do exercises that I could to kind of show like this and to like be closer to see and just jump in and do a few things here and there. And that was really 
what I realized like in hindsight is it was very effective because I just did a little bit a lot of the time and when I didn't have time or I couldn't do full workouts because I'm the teacher and I'm like walking around and observing and correcting and stuff um, I couldn't be like doing the class all the time I was like leading the class but if you just get it in whenever you can remember that it all adds up it's not all or nothing it's everything is influencing the body it's just like with your food it's just like with your plant so every ingredient every choice every food combination every every repetition through the day the next day it's adding up and that's tipping your health and it's tipping your shape and your results so just remember that it's not it's not so all or nothing black and white. It's just keep doing it, keep doing it, and it keeps edging out the body that you want. Okay, now, all the way down to side lying. So keep it at hip height, point, flex, pull. So I'm gonna reach through the outside of my hip, outer thigh to go up, pull down. My flex fan matches my pillows. And six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay at hip height now, point, and we're going circles forward. Again, the hand with the band down here isn't moving. Three, two, one, and hold, reverse, look up and under, up and under. I can feel it in my butt. Five, four, three, two, one, and now I want you to stay right here, flex, kick back, 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 six, five, four, three, two, don't drop it, keep it, flex forward, smooth it out, pull three, two, and one, and release. Good job. Okay. Then put your other foot in next to this foot and flip over. Okay. Here we go. You can start on your elbow or you can start on your side, whichever way. Okay. Front kick. Flex, flex. Point on a slight diagonal. Let that band, this one's a little off here fully wrap under the ball of the foot. Out and up and flexing down. Out and up and flexing down. This just feels so good. Now I want you to push your toes into the band and then 
circle forward and around. Nice smooth resistance. Keep your kneecap forward. Your hip is parallel. Four, three, two, one, and hold at the top. Get your control up and back and under and lift. Push through the ball of the foot, make a circle, try to keep them the same size, nice and smooth. Four, three, two, one, finish at the top, flex, pulse back, back, squeeze your glute, squeeze your glute, this is so good for that. Crease at the glute line in that high upper glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep it, keep it, keep your form, control, control, heel, toe, full range, smooth it out. Lengthen, lengthen. Three, two, and one more. And release it all the way down. Awesome job. Okay, let's get rid of the band off of the foot. And then I want you guys to use this for your final stretch. So this is side bend or mermaid with your band, okay? So you're gonna sit on it. One leg is folded back. Okay, you're gonna use both edges though. So the side with the knee bent, bring your band up, breathe inhale, raise. So practice your shoulder drop, arm is up, and lean to the side. So I wanna send my ribs into the flex band. The flex band is inside of my elbow or underneath of my arm, I can see it and then come back up and bend. Reach high and angle and curve. Use your bottom arm to support the, the stretch, support the bend. And two more. Isn't that funny? I'm out of breath. All the way up. And one more. Okay, then stay right here. Bring this arm to the side. Straight wrist, knuckles back, press. Shoulder raise and bend. Shoulder raise and bend. Five, four, put space between your ribs and vertebrae. Three, two, and one, and release it all the way down, okay? Flip your legs, flip your sides. Okay, just make sure you're on top of it. Here we go, fingers to the mat, bring your elbow bent, lift up and angle over. And then return, nice posture, fold the elbow, inhale up, inhale lean. come back or breathe whichever way you like. Up and around. Three more. Two. And one more time. Okay, almost done. And then arm to the side. Just pulse and bend. And five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it all the way down to the side. Shake out your arms and you're all done. So I hope you guys like this workout. Use it anytime that you have your flex fan with you. I'll talk to you so soon.